Hi there, I'm Gary, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. Now, very quick little uh, video today. Those of you that watched me build the 124th scale Spitfire will know that with my big clumsy butter fingers, when I was building it, I managed to break one of the transparent parts, the, uh, the canopy part that goes behind the hood of the canopy, behind the pilot. I think it's X1, part X1. You've got the hood itself that you pull back underneath that behind the pilot. That I managed to break. I was trying to mask it and was a bit heavy handed with it and snap and there's a nice big crack through it. So I've built the kit anyway as is and you know what not that many people have noticed it's not there. Some of you will know it because you've watched the videos but so there's going to be a lot of people who haven't watched the earlier videos don't know I messed that up and haven't noticed it because I've got the kit with the hood back anyway and it kind of hides it. Anyway um, back in January, 18th of January, I sent a note to the FX Spares people and said, can I have a new one, please? Here's all the information. This is where I got the kit from. Um, it's one I bought online uh, from the FX store. And gave them all the information they needed. And um, they got back to me and said, well, you know, it's, we're very, very busy, but it can take up to 28 days or so. Please bear with us. Okay. 14th of February. I got an email from them saying, yep, your part's on its way. And the next day, um, it's a Royal Mail 48 tracked thing, but um, actually got it the next day. I've got this box, fairly big box, lots of packaging. And inside all the packaging, I'll handle it very gently so I don't break this one, is my spare X1 canopy. Um, very neatly cut from the frame actually as well looking at it so someone's taken a good deal of care to make sure they don't mess that up which is nice I made, I made the mistake so I said just let me know what I owe you they haven't charged me anything not even the postage which I thought was very decent of them now I will point out I didn't go in like <coughs> excuse me <coughs> Hi, I'm Gary from Gary's Stuff. You may know my YouTube channel well. I speak to Dale and Luke all the time and they said I should... Didn't do any of that because that's not right and that's not fair. So I just sent in an email and said, this is what I need. This is the information you asked for. Let me know if I owe you anything for it. Thank you very much for your help. And sure enough, a month later, I've got the part. I can uh, very, very, very carefully mask that up, spray it, put it in the Spitfire and my pink Spitfire will be absolutely complete which is a good thing I know a lot of you um, out there have had problems with FX spares in the past I've read a lot of stories about them a lot of um, your experiences about them um, all I can say is the last couple of times I've had anything to do with them they've been really good and really helpful so uh, thank you very much, Airfix. Thought I should just give you a little shout out and say, well done, thank you very much for your service in this case. Um, if you've got a problem with Airfix spares, just make sure that you've given them all the information you can, where you got it, date you purchased it, if you can. Uh, most important are the tracking numbers and things like that. On the email, be nice to them. Um, do remember, there's not, actually no one specifically working in spare parts i think they just take it in turns in one of the offices you know okay it's my turn today to handle the spares see what i can do about the spares go in the warehouse for the store the back store of kits that they've got there take out what they can um so that's all i wanted to say thank you really to uh, the fx spares people if you like the video of course please thumbs up on the like button below and if you haven't do subscribe to the channel and you'll see more videos as and when they turn up. Thanks very much for watching. I'll catch you later. Goodbye.